this notation that we've been using, where I put the squiggly set brackets and I list the elements inside of them, is referred to as set roster notation. And one of the challenges that can happen with set roster notation is that we might have a, a very large number of sets. Our, our roster, if you wish, could be very large, sometimes infinite. So one of the things that we want to do is, if there is some clear pattern amongst the elements inside of the set, we can use the ellipsis, the dot, 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 to indicate that the pattern continues. So in this particular example, I am listing the positive even integer. So I'm not talking about negative, like negative 2 and negative 4. I'm talking about 0, 2, 4, 6, and so on. Because there has been a clear pattern, and I don't want to try to write down all of the infinitely large number of positive integers, I use the dot, dot, dot to save myself a little bit of time. Uh, we can do a dot, dot, dot on both sides. For example, in this example, this is all of the even integers, not just the positive ones, all of the even integers. And in this case, they have a pattern that goes in the negative infinity direction, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, and so on, and a pattern that goes in the positive infinity direction, 2, 4, 6, and so on. So this is going to work well, but it's only going to work well as long as the, the pattern can be clearly established. I need to be able to look at the first few elements and say, do I see a pattern? And in this case, I do. And so if I put the dot, 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 the presumption is that the pattern which is evident is going to continue. SIP roster notation is great, but we often like to improve and refer to something as set builder notation. And this is going to be particularly useful when the sets are complicated and that the relationship between the elements are going to be complicated. So this is the general form for my set builder notation. And the idea is that I have x, which is thought of as being a variable. It could be anything. And then I have this line. And this line here is a shorthand. It means such that. And then finally, I have this p of x here. And p of x is some property that depends on the variable x. So I want to have a property, and I want it to be true. So some property that I'm claiming is true. So this is sort of weird, but the way I want to read this is this is the set of the variables x such that the x has some particular property. So as an example, if I want to take the set being the even integers, I want to be able to describe. How do I describe the even integers using this set builder notation? Well, I'm going to claim that this is going to be equal to the set of all different elements x. I have my variable. All different elements x such that. Now, what does it mean to be an even integer? An even integer is like 2, 4, 6, and so on. So an even integer is always two times some other integer. So what I'm going to say here is that my property is that my x is twice an integer. It is twice some number. So, so for example, I will say that 6 is an element of this set. I will say that 6 is in here because 6 can be described as being twice the integer 3. And minus 6 is in here because minus 6 can be described as twice the integer minus 3. All right, one more example. We're going to be looking at the set of numbers whose square root is an integer. So I have to try to figure out what this is going to be. So I want to try to go, and I'm going to do it off over here. I'm going to say this is the set. I always begin with my set notation. And then it's the set of all different numbers such that the, the square root of the value of x is an element of the integers. So this is kind of an interesting mathematical expression because it's got a lot of our new terminology in here. Uh, the z was our shorthand for the integers. 
This backwards E thing is our notation for element. The vertical line stood for such that. So if I read off this expression, this is the set of numbers such that their square root is an integer. And so I think this notation translates this set that I'm describing down here. 